as Americans watch and try to process the information that's coming out of the January 6th public hearings, one question that is obviously on all of our minds is, is this going to amount to anything? Will there be any accountability after they've exposed so much criminality from Donald Trump, including witness tampering just from a couple of weeks ago. I mean, he's been incredibly brazen. So for Merrick Garland to let him off, to not prosecute him, would feel like a total abdication of his responsibility as attorney general. But will he do it? And today we got a little bit clearer of an indication as to what Merrick Garland will or will not do. And this is based off of a memo that he signed on May 25th. Now, this was a story uh, that was uh, published on MSNBC. Rachel Maddow had a little bit of a breakdown. So here's some snippets from her going over the uh, memo that is really important on her show. Take a look. Uh, this is a document that we have just obtained that has not been published elsewhere. It is from Attorney General Merrick Garland. It is addressed to all Justice Department employees. It is dated May 25th, 2022. So that's about eight weeks ago. But again, we believe the first time this document has been shown to the public. Um, as you can see, it is titled Election Year Sensitivities. Department of Justice employees are entrusted with the authority to enforce the laws of the United States and with a responsibility to do so in a neutral and impartial manner. This is particularly important in an election year now that the 2022 election season is upon us. And as in prior election cycles, I am issuing this memorandum to remind you of the department's existing policies with respect to political activities. And again, this is a memo that is from Attorney General Merrick Garland. It has his signature on the top of it in blue ink. And now get this. Finally, Department employees must also adhere to the additional requirements issued by the Attorney General on February 5th, 2020. February 5th, 2020. Governing the opening of criminal and counterintelligence investigations by the department, including its law enforcement agencies, related to politically sensitive individuals and entities. See Memorandum of Attorney General William Barr, February 5th, 2020. Any questions regarding the scope or requirements of the February 2020 Attorney General's Memorandum should be directed to the Public Integrity section. February 2020, Trump Attorney General Bill Barr put out new guidance over and above what all attorneys general had previously said. And what Bill Barr said in February 2020 was specifically that, you know, in essence, nobody's allowed to investigate anybody connected to a presidential candidate without his permission personally as attorney general. Memos, uh, Barr's memo from February 2020, the language of it specifically, it said, quote, no investigation, including any preliminary investigation, may be opened or initiated by the department or any of its law enforcement agencies of a declared candidate for president or vice president, a presidential campaign, or a senior presidential campaign staff member or advisor, absent prior written approval of the attorney general through the deputy attorney general. Trump Attorney General Bill Barr established that new rule in February 2020. No investigating any declared candidate for president or anybody working for that candidate unless I personally give my permission. That new rule was established by Bill Barr when he was working for Donald Trump. Merrick Garland has just formally extended that guidance and told every employee of the Justice Department that it is still in effect. So overall, there are primarily two implications, in my opinion, based on that. The first is that prosecuting Trump isn't necessarily out of the question, per se, for Merrick Garland. It's just that he has to have the final say, and a lot has changed since May 25th when he signed that memo. However, the problem is that he firmly believes that investigating somebody who is seeking political office makes the DOJ appear hyperpartisan, and he doesn't want the Department of Justice to have that perception. Therefore, he doesn't want to investigate people running for office. In other words, if Trump runs for president again, not going to do anything. Sorry, because we don't want to come off as too political. That in and of itself is a political decision, but it's also an act of cowardice. And he's doing this for no good reason. He's following a standard put in place by Bill Barr. Why? I mean, this was put in place specifically to protect Donald Trump. So Merrick Garland has no responsibility or obligation to adhere to that standard. But for whatever reason, he's choosing to do it anyway. 
look, if I'm Biden, I'm exerting maximum pressure on Merrick Garland to resign if he doesn't do what's necessary, and that is prosecute Donald Trump. The evidence of criminality is overwhelming. And so if you don't prosecute Donald Trump, then you are literally telling the American people that presidents are above the law. And that standard is so absurd. Try to think of that applying to anyone else. So if you're getting arrested and you just proclaim that you're running for president, no, don't handcuff me. Uh, I'm running for president. Do you think that a cop is going to comply with that? They're going to say, shut the fuck up. And they're going to shove you in their car because that doesn't work with normal people. They don't care. They're not going to think that it's coming off as too political. If you claim that you're running for president and they targeted you because of your political affiliation, that doesn't work on normal people. So why does this work on elites? It's preposterous. Now, the reason why this is an indication that Trump will not face accountability is because he wants to run for president. He's made that incredibly clear. In fact, this article from Rolling Stone was published this week. In recent months, Trump has made clear to associates that legal protections of occupying the Oval Office are front of mind for him for people with knowledge of the situation Tell Rolling Stone. Trump has spoken about how when you are the president of the United States, it is tough for politically motivated prosecutors to get you, says one of the sources who has discussed the issue with Trump this summer. He says when, not if, he is president again, a new Republican administration will put a stop to the Justice Department investigation that he views as the Biden administration working to hit him with criminal charges or even put him and his people in prison. The former president is motivated to announce early, even before Election Day of 2022, in the hopes of clearing the field of primary rivals. But GOP leaders, including some of Trump's closest advisors, don't want him to declare his intentions until after the midterm elections. But as Trump talks about running, the four sources say he's leaving confidants with the impression that as his criminal exposure has increased, so has his focus on the legal protections of the executive branch. So we're in this situation where we have a top presidential candidate for 2024 running again, not necessarily because he has a grand vision for the country or has any policy goals that he wants to execute. He's running because he thinks that if he gets elected, then he'll be above the law. And unfortunately, according to this memo, He may be right about that. Merrick Garland may actually view him as being above the law, and because he's seeking office again, he's untouchable because don't want to appear too partisan. I mean, this is why nobody respects the United States of America. Its own citizens view this country as having a two-tier justice system where peasants are arrested for committing crimes that elites will never see a day in jail for if they commit it themselves. And we're talking about sedition here. We're talking about inciting an insurrection, tampering with with witnesses, and all Trump has to do to escape culpability is run for president? I mean, Merrick Garland might actually be one of the worst attorneys general in American history, just because of how feckless and shameless he is in trying to cover for Donald Trump. And this isn't the only area where he has continued Trump-era policies, defended Trump cases, or cases that the Trump administration has defended more specifically. But if this is it, you know, where Trump is found to be guilty, potentially, at least in the eyes of the public, after the January 6th hearing exposes all of his crimes, and Merrick Garland just chooses to not do anything with that information, I just don't know how trust can ever be restored in American institutions again. And more importantly, I don't see how Trump doesn't remain in office forever. Because if political leaders see that a leader, a sitting president, can quite literally incite an insurrection and try to steal an election and there's no repercussions whatsoever, well, they're going to do that. Because if you have nothing to lose and you can remain in power in perpetuity... Well, some demagogue who wants to be a dictator is going to do that. Maybe it's Donald Trump. Maybe it's Ron DeSantis. Either way, it's coming if there's no accountability for literally trying to steal a fucking election. And Merrick Garland has himself to blame for that. He will be in the history books for being complicit with the downfall of American democracy if he refuses to do the bare minimum. And that is his job in prosecuting criminals. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.